With infections surging in Europe again, Austria today took a drastic measure and imposed a nationwide lockdown on unvaccinated citizens. The restrictions sparked protests in Vienna. People without shots can only leave home for work or to buy food. If they leave, they face fines. I have a lot of sympathy with what they're going to do in Austria because I cannot understand for the life of me why people believe this rubbish on the internet, the anti-vax propaganda. It is deranged. We know there's figures from the Office of National Statistics that say, what is it, you're 32,000 times more likely to die if you've not been double jabbed from COVID. There's no possible reason unless you've got underlying health symptoms not to have the jab. But my worry about doing it is how do you enforce it? Do you stop everybody in the street? Who's going to stop people in the street? We don't have enough police officers on the beat anyway. So how would you make it work in Britain? Well, you'd, you'd do it through snitches. Well, you'd, you'd do it through snitches. Wouldn't you, Storm? That's, it's, that's, it's that worked. Uneasy. It worked in lockdown. We yeah, had people even... saying, get around, we can hear a karaoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did. Well, I think if anyone was having parties, this, is Austria. this would work. But I don't think even if you called up the police and said, oh, I've seen my neighbour go out to their friend's house, you can't, like, there's no proof of that if they end up back at their house. Well, yeah, but the thing is, so what the police do is they do spot checks. Right. So so when, when you're shopping, you might see an officer and the officer says, show me your card. Yeah. Now, if you want to risk having a fake card, you can do it, but you'd be in a lot of trouble. And then what happens if you break the rules? Are they going to, do they, are they going to imprison them in Austria? As you know, last night we took an urgent action to escalate our response in these communities, immediately implementing a hard lockdown. That means residents of Injari and Rockhole no longer have the five reasons to leave their home. They can only leave for medical treatment in an emergency or if required by law. They can only leave for medical treatment in an emergency or if required by law. It's highly likely that more residents will be transferred to House Springs today, either as positive cases or close contacts. We've already identified 38 close contacts in Binjari, and that number will go up. Those 38 are being transferred now. I contacted the Prime Minister last night. We are grateful for the support of about 20 ADF personnel, as well as army trucks, to assist with the transfer of positive cases and close contacts, and to support the communities. Do you think at all that your rhetoric around calling people anti-vaxxers, some of whom were vaccinated, has had an impact at all on vaccine take-up in parts of the territory? No, and I'll repeat it. If you are anti-mandate, you are absolutely anti-vax. I don't care what your personal vaccination status is. If you support, champion, give a green light, give comfort to, support anybody who argues against the vaccine, you are an anti-vaxxer, absolutely. Your personal vaccination status is utterly irrelevant. If you campaign, against the mandate, if you campaign against people being vaccinated in vulnerable settings, teachers in classrooms, I'll be really clear, at that point in time, people were actually supporting the idea of a teacher being unvaccinated in a remote community classroom with kids who cannot be vaccinated. I reject that. And if you are out there in any way, shape or form campaigning against this mandate, you are absolutely anti-vax. If you say pro-persuasion, stuff it, shove it. We are absolutely going to make sure as many Territorians as possible are vaccinated. That is our best protection against this thing. And if you look at the Doty model that's only come out since, that says if we double dose 80 in remote communities, five and up, I think you'll see our vaccine mandate is absolutely crucial to protecting lives, particularly Aboriginal lives. And I will never back away from supporting vaccines. And anyone out there who comes for the mandate, you are anti-vax. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 